Hey guys, it's Jake from California again. Um, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I'm working on on this uh, pistol here. This is the Kentucky pistol. Um, and what I wanted to show you today was specifically trigger modification. Okay, the trigger that comes with this is a basic trigger. Just pushes up on the rod in the action and uh, lets the lock off. So it slops around in here pretty good. So let me show you. You put this in, just like that, and you can see the you can see the hopefully you can see the movement in here. I'll, I'll zoom in a little. You can see the movement in there. All that does is go up and hit the bar on the lock action. This bar here on the back, all it does is push that up and unlock it. So I'm going to put it in, show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this fits in here, you pull the action back, and this trigger is pretty sloppy. And you pull it, and it goes like that. Now, whoop, ah, sorry I don't have it bolted in, so flopping all over the place. But anyway, the point is, if you're a gun, if you're, if you're, a, if you're a gun person at all, sloppy triggers, or something that are really annoying. Having this flop around all the time, you know, it's just going to feel funny. So what I decided to do was modify this trigger a bit. So I don't I want to get rid of that slot. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. Come over. And if you look here, this piece has a little indent on the back. Now my idea is to put a trigger in uh, up in here with a spring, you know. Most of these sort of things in a real gun, not that this isn't a real gun, but in in production modern production guns, most of these sort of triggers have a spring behind them which keeps them pressed down. So it's going to keep it pressed down like that so that when you pull the trigger and when you let go of the trigger it's going to push the trigger back into place and it's going to feel much smoother. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this to fit inside this stock. Pop the action out here. And I'll show you. This is hard to see but there's a channel up in here that this fits into. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this spring back in here I'm going to put this spring back in here, I'm going to fix it in place and I'm going to attach it to the trigger now this is actually out of the way of the action if you look here you can't really see the spring in there, it's kind of hidden back in there so you got a spring down in here, we're going to attach it to where it goes <clears throat> and I'll show you how this fixes fixes a trigger. So give me a few minutes here and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. So here's the drill, I'm going to drill this. Probably not going to get a real good picture of this but we're going to go ahead and drill this.
So this is pretty thick. I'm starting to drill a hole through this. And um, yeah, let me finish this up. Okay, so, I know it's kind of boring to watch, but what I've done is I've drilled a hole through the back of this trigger assembly now. Alright, so, what I have now is a trigger assembly with a hole in it that I can now fix my spring to. So I'm going to put my spring in there and then I'm going to assemble it and then I'm going to glue it in place. So I'll show you that uh, modification at the next uh, 